Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. Uh, for this week, we're going to be uh, looking at the Google Drive plugin for uh, Kodi um, and or XBMC if you're still on the older version. Uh, essentially, what the pl plugin does is uh, lets you link uh, to your Google Drive and uh, down and view stream your videos and and um, I'm not sure if it does photos, but uh, but the whole point is to see if you can stream your <laughs> video. So. Um, couple things I wanted to share with you. Number one, I'm on a Ouya console doing this. And number two, I'm on using version 14, which is now known as Kodi. All right. So what I have here, I have downloaded the, uh, the plugin files and they're on my, they're on my, uh, USB key that I've plugged in, that I've plugged into, um, the back of the console. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to install the zip file off the key USB drive. And we're going to do G drive. Now you will notice there are uh, Dropbox is available. OneDrive is available. Uh, for this version here, we're going to use the G drive. Uh, and note, even though it's labeled XBMC G drive, um, it does work here on, um, on Kodi. And bottom, bottom right hand corner, we have G drive add on enabled. So what we're going to do is we're going to be able to find this in our video add ons. And there it is. Oops. And there it is. Now, before you start, you do need to um, input your username and password. So you have to go into your add-on settings. Um, and on an Ouya console, that's just highlighting it, pushing you. Uh, on an Apple TV, I believe you have to hold down your enter button, the center button on your little um, scroll wheel there, um, and enter your username and password and such that. Here it's already entered because I did. I have. Um, I've already installed this and tested it uh, before attempting this video. Um, you'll notice three tabs, the login, video and music, and then the photos. Under the photos tab, if you're viewing, if you're trying to view photos, and I haven't tested this part yet, but you need to specify a cache folder and I just took any folder off the console on the internal storage and made it the cache folder. All right, so from here we can cancel. Now my username's already entered. And, and there's one other thing that's important. When you go to your account settings uh, over, you know, if you go to your Google Drive, log in, uh, go to your account settings, and then go to security, you need to uh, let Google accept third-party access. Um, it, it does mean dropping down the security level of your drive, but this is the only way you'll be able to use this feature. So we're going to go in here, and here's all my files off the drive. Um, let me see, and I put a short video clip here. Okay, let's see if this works. And, uh, I don't know, we'll just do 720. There it is. Success. We have the video file playing, um, streaming from the Google Drive. This is just one of my videos, hey everybody, obviously. it's Sal here again. Oh, okay. And we'll just stop that. Um, so there you go. Um, link up to your Google Drive and start streaming your files. There's a lot of, uh, Google Drive has a lot of storage, so feel free to upload whatever you want and, uh, and um, stream it to your XBMC. And, and remember, uh, you need to let Google uh, accept third-party um, third connections, okay, uh, going into your account security settings. Okay, hopefully you'll be able to find that. And um, and that's it for now. Uh, hopefully um, you guys will find this feature useful. Some people will, some people won't, not a big deal. But uh, I thought it's kind of neat and uh, decided to share that with you. Now, one other thing um, that's also, uh, that'll, if you do decide to use this plugin, it's adding it uh, to the shortcuts uh, like you see there on the RT News, how I have it on the bottom there. That's That's a shortcut location. And the way you do that is uh, I'm going to show you how you can add how, how you can add your plugins uh, through there. So we're going to go to system uh, settings. Okay. And then we're going to go to, I believe it's appearance. Okay. And then we're going to go to skin here and then settings at the top. And going down to add on shortcuts. 
right there in this window here you see home page video sub menus you got add on one two three four five that's the limit you can you can put so just go to the next available oops go go to the next available one okay for me it's um this thing wants to be difficult here There we go. Uh, Add-on 2 is the next available one. And let's go to G Drive, highlight it. There it is. And I believe that's all you have to do. And and there it is there. The shortcut is added to your video sub menu. And um, the other, you can do this feature for your uh, music as well. Um, I don't have anything here. This is pretty much a fresh install of Kodi that I got on here. And, uh, and there you go, you know, you got your G Drive synced up and, um, and available. Now there is also Dropbox plugin and OneDrive plugin. Um, if we go to my file manager, there are, there are the plugins there. I could leave a uh, link to, to where you can get these plugins and just do the same thing. The process is the same. Download the zip file install from zip, punch in your username and password in the configuration of the add-on, and then that's pretty much it. Now, I haven't done the Dropbox account, um, so I don't know if there's any extra security settings in the account, in the drop up, Dropbox account itself that you have to, you have to change, but um, I know for sure Google Drive, uh, you have to make that small configuration change into your third-party apps. All right, and uh, and that's it for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and found it um, found it useful. Uh, feel free to like this video. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, and, um, and that's all for now. Have a great day and uh, ciao for now.